Hey guys, so this week has not been good. I don't know what's happening, but literally I've had a nightmare like four times out of this week. I don't know what's causing them. I'm starting to get like kind of concerned about going to sleep because am I gonna have another nightmare or not? I don't know. But yeah, I've had like four nightmares this week. Like I don't get nightmares that often and I feel like I don't dream that often, but literally this week I've gotten four nightmares like not even dreams just full-on nightmares i don't know if this is supposed to like mean something or anything but i'm gonna go through all of them and like comment down below if you know what any of this means because i literally don't know what it can mean like i'm not doing anything bad so why am i getting bad dreams but i thought this would make an interesting video because i know a lot of y'all have requested more story times but I'm not an interesting person, so I don't have very many good stories to tell. But after last night, I just thought back on how many bad dreams I've had, and I was like, hmm, this could make a good video. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're wondering how I remember my dreams, literally what I do is the second I wake up from them, I text myself like a brief summary of what happened. It's just like instant, like I wake up and I instantly type it and send it to myself so that when I wake up the next morning, I have a notification from myself that has the dream so I don't forget it. I mean, there's been times where I literally wake up and I read the message and I do not remember a single thing. Like, I'm just like, when did I ever type this out? But these last four, I actually remembered. So I have them written down in my text messages and I'm just gonna go over them. So the first one that happened isn't really that scary. It was just kind of like weird. Like I honestly don't understand. I mean all of these, like I literally don't understand what the point is, but you know what I mean? I don't know, my dream just starts. I'm like sitting in a chair, but then these people come to me and they like strap me down. Like they like force hold me down on this chair. And then within like 10 seconds, there's like five people that are just shoving piercings up my lip, my nose, my like this, ears like all over my face and just my face piercings what is that supposed to mean i literally do not know why would people want to force piercings on people anyways like i don't understand but i don't think i'd ever get a piercing in real life i just don't think that's my like thing like i know lots of guys have like ear piercings and stuff and honestly i don't like the look of it so i don't see myself ever doing that so it's weird that i literally got a dream where people forced like 30 piercings in my face so this next dream or nightmare or whatever you want to call it is like a two-part series. Shane is shook right now, like I'm coming for his brand because my nightmares are happening in series right now, so he better watch out. But basically, okay, so it's like two parts, but they're like exactly the same dream except for the ending. So the first one, I'm just like sitting in my house, you know, and just sitting in my room, and all of a sudden I hear this giant bang, and I go outside and literally in front of my house on the street, a giant meteorite like blew from the sky and hit the ground and this one was like a few weeks ago where i got this dream and i didn't know what to think of it like a meteorite hit the ground um okay it like hit the ground and there was fire everywhere but a few days ago i had literally the exact same dream the whole string of events i don't remember exactly what happened before the meteorite but i was just like talking to people or something in my room but this time instead of it falling and hitting the street it like hit the corner of my room, which is kind of scary because now if I have a third dream, does that mean the meteorite is literally just gonna hit me? I just don't understand. I'm probably gonna say this for every single dream that I'm gonna go over, but like, what is this supposed to mean? So yeah, I guess I have to look forward to the night that I'm gonna have a nightmare about the meteorite actually hitting me. Maybe I'll get some superpowers or something. Maybe that'll translate into my real life. Like the meteorite will hit me and then I'll get some superpowers in my dreams and that'll like translate into my real life where I'll be a powerful figure. Huh. You know, that actually sounds pretty good. Okay, this third one is like the worst out of all of them. I was like so scared when I woke up because it was just such a weird and like scary dream or like this one is actually a nightmare. Like I think I classified this one as an actual nightmare. But one of the weird things is that I wasn't like directly part of this dream. I was kind of like just an observer. Like I was a ghost or something and I was just watching the events that were happening. It's kind of like third person point of view in a book or something where the person's talking for other people. But basically, 
basically I'm in this like really big forest it's like you can't see the end of it and there's just all these tall trees and lots of fog but I'm in like this little clearing like there's like this little patch of emptiness in the middle of the forest and there's like this one big tree and from the big tree there are four bodies covered in white bed sheets hanging from a rope off one of the branches that's like really morbid but it doesn't stop there so these four bodies are literally hanging from a tree right and there's this guy that just like walks around the tree and then he's just staring at these bodies and laughing and i'm just like guessing this is the murderer i mean he was also holding a knife so that probably makes sense that he is a murderer but i don't understand what made him like hang these bodies from a tree because then he like walks up to one of them and literally slits their throat with a knife as if they weren't already dead but i'm just like sitting here i mean i'm not even sitting i don't know what i'm doing because i'm not part of the dream i'm just observing it so i don't know if i'm like in the sky or something i had kind of like a top down view <sighs> Maybe I was God. I don't know. But anyways, so the guy literally slits the throat and then like you could see the blood like seeping through the white bed sheets. But then like right after he did that, one of the bodies that's like dead hanging off of the tree literally just like unties himself, drops down and then walks over to the killer, grabs the knife out of his hand and stabs him. And I'm like not part of this dream. So how does this like, what is this in my brain that's like making me look at these things at night? I I literally do not understand so I honestly don't know how to interpret this one like comment down below what you think this means okay and the fourth dream actually happened last night and this one I mean it's not that scary but I don't know it like feels very familiar to me like when I woke up from it I felt like it was kind of like deja vu you know but this definitely did not happen to me in real life so I literally don't know why I felt like I lived through this before but basically what happened is it's like this giant grassy field like think of like windows xp grassy hills blue sky type of landscape and i'm just in the middle of this landscape just walking for no apparent reason i don't know where i'm going where i came from what i'm doing but i'm literally just walking in this field you know and all of a sudden i walk up to like all these like arrows in the ground it's like like a bow and arrow but like just the arrows all over the ground so i'm just starting to pick them up you know i look behind behind me and there's this massive fence there were like slits in it and i could see through the slits there were like people behind there so i'm just like turned around looking at this fence picking up arrows from the ground and all of a sudden an arrow literally shoots from the fence like right across from me like it did not hit me but it was like one centimeter away and then i'm just like these people are trying to kill me like something's trying to kill me i don't know so i just turn around and start walking the other direction and the fence starts like growing i don't know it like wraps starts wrapping around me and then there's like more people more people start shooting arrows at me like just like rapid fire you know and none of these arrows are hitting every single one is like a hair away from touching me like i could feel the breeze across my face or arm but none of them hit me and i don't know what that means i just kept walking the other way and eventually i woke up i don't know like after i woke up from it i just felt like this happened to me before but yeah those are all the nightmares i've had this week i feel like i'm probably gonna have more because if i had four nightmares in a row why not make it seven you know let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video in the comments it's kind of different from what i've done before but i have some really good videos planned out in the future it's just i'm in the middle of testing right now so i don't have that much time to do the labor intensive videos but definitely look forward to those soon and i'm going on a pretty cool trip this spring break so get excited for that too because i'm probably gonna vlog it obviously subscribe because i have a lot of good videos coming soon so subscribe so you know when they come out and i guess that's it so i'll see you next week peace